I want to show you something super unique that I have been working on for this whole week and it's still not finished, but I have to show you a sneak peek because I'm going to probably be dumping another couple weeks into this project and I am beyond excited about it because I think it'll really change the way I use my computer. And that is just amazing in itself to where I can say with the definitive maybe <laughs> that I think this distribution will be the one I will be on for over a decade. And that's a pretty bold statement, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, when I start on my computer, I triple boot right now. You got wind blows, you got Arch Linux, which nothing too out of the ordinary. But then in the middle here, we have Rocky Linux. Now, I did a two hour live stream over on Odyssey. I'll try to link it down in the description or maybe the top comment setting up Rocky Linux. Now this is still rough around the edges. I'm building it out directly from the server where there's no GUI, no tools or anything that comes with it and just building it all from this as its base. You might be thinking, why Rocky Linux? That's new, right? It doesn't even have a final release. And it's because I believe in it that much. I think Rocky Linux will be the future of me and computers <laughs> because I can do everything I want in here. I never have to worry about updates. It's secure, it's based on RHEL. So I know it's very, very secure and private. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump into what I've done here. Obviously on the desktop itself, you can see I have like a little background. I think they're still working on the wallpapers, but I just grabbed some stuff from their forums. Screw up uh, my simple monitor and KDE, installed a base KDE, not too much here, not like the full tool stack that comes with KDE. I got my Brave browser and threw a couple apps like Steam and GIMP. But uh, how I do this is a little uh, different. Most distributions you'll notice are on Linux 5.10. You know, if you're on Ubuntu, it's probably 5.10 or that. This is really meant for a little bit older hardware. However, you'll be surprised at what I'm actually using here. If we just do a NeoFetch, you can see I am using the AMD 5600X, which is the newest version of the CPU of AMD, and I'm using a 2060 NVIDIA. Now, if we go a little bit further and do like an LSPCI, you can actually see I am using an NVIDIA drivers here. Up here where you see the 2060, you can see I am attaching it to a regular NVIDIA driver. This is really important because that means I can use it for gaming if I wanted or any kind of hardware acceleration from my GPU, but I'm not limited by some uh, open source driver that you know doesn't give you the power that the NVIDIA one does if you're an NVIDIA user. Obviously AMD, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna get your performance regardless. But also in that NeoFetch, you might have seen Homebrew. Uh, that's how I'm using some of the install. So you have your traditional flat pack and app images over here that can run on pretty much any system, even the old ones, it doesn't matter. So you can get that stability and security that I've been raving about, but you also can get your newer app. Uh, but also you can do Homebrew, which builds out apps for you for the most part. And if I just do like a brew list, I think you can see I have Hugo on here. And I got to add like GIMP and those things as well. You can see GIMP right now I have as a flat pack, but very, very performance heavy, really good. I, I haven't had any issues or slowdowns. If I did, I could probably move to homebrew, but I wanted to kind of give options for installing newer programs. Maybe you don't want to be stuck two or three years in the past uh, where all this is vetted and you can use this type of thing to kind of get around that. But I'm still working on the theming and wallpapers and you can see I've kind of do my my actual desktops right here, uh, have it all set up to function kind of like a tiling window manager. I think this time I'm going to stick with KDE and integrate many of the things I love about my tiling window managers and bring them more in-house to KDE to give all that functionality, but also be more noob friendly as well. And as far as packages installed, looking through here, nothing too crazy just yet. Uh, I am using Synergy to kind of tie in some of my other works spaces and other computers here. But what I really want to do is do virtual machines on these desktops and then be flipping through each one and go, okay, Windows, Mac, 
uh, back to here, but all be integrated into this one piece of hardware. And the reason why I chose Rocky Linux was it's based on RHEL. There's the security and privacy aspect, but you also got to remember virtualization is extremely powerful when you get into these types of things. And I will probably virtualize a Windows and a Mac side by side and push GPOs directly to them. Uh, so that's what my plans are for Rocky Linux. I also wanted to show you kind of a quick draft of what I'm putting up so you could do this as well. Now, right here is my VS Codium. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a little server, local server. I'm gonna push this sometime next week on christitis.com uh, so you can actually see this guide. I, it's not quite yet polished enough to where I think you could follow along, but I wanna show you kind of what I have. And so far, kind of have just the base download, which you, if you wanna go ahead and try out Rocky Linux, it's not noob friendly, so you have to be pretty intermediate with with Linux to use this just yet. I will have like an image coming out for members on chrisstitus.com. So if you are a member over there, don't worry, I'm gonna give you a download. You'll be able to download this and use it. Uh, configuration, adding more repositories, kind of filling that out, not only just using Power Tools and RPM Fusion to fill out some of uh, the shortcomings of using a release like this, but also, like I said, Homebrew and flat packs and those types of things can fill in some of it. And then just kind of building out our own KDE as that's kind of what I want to use. If you use the GUI installer from Rocky Linux, it does do GNOME, so that's really important to know. And then just kind of walk through some of the other things like installing NVIDIA card drivers can be a little bit cumbersome on here. So I kind of do a walkthrough of that and then doing full development tool builds. So this system, if there's a program that's not on here that you can install through Homebrew or Flatpak or uh, the basic DNF installer, you could easily build it out yourself. And I want to kind of put all those development tools in place to where we can do uh, either Python or PIP or uh, Go language, whatever it might be, and just have it all there so you can build out whatever program you want. And this is just kind of what I have going so far for this. I will publish this walkthrough again. It'll be christitis.com forward slash Rocky dash Linux, but it's not quite ready yet. Look for this sometime next week. So that's what I have going. Let me know down in the comments what do you think of this? Am I kind of crazy? Well, we knew I'm crazy, but uh, I just wanted to actually do a complete build out because I truly think this will be my distribution from now until, well, ever. <laughs> That's how confident I am of this distribution. And you might be like, well, Rocky Linux, it's kind of an oddball community distro. And that's not entirely true. The creator of it, or one of the creators of it, was the original creator of CentOS. And CentOS was my very first Linux distribution and one that I used in business for almost a whole decade, building out telephony boxes and also a whole host of different things, whether it's LAMP stacks for websites. It's one of the things that's used a ton in business. And Rocky Linux is gonna be used a ton in business. I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of a residential spin here. For those Linux desktop folks out there, I think this could be the future. But again, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you sometime next week whenever I uh, leave my cave here and decide, hey, I've actually finished this project, and I would love for you to see it when that happens. And I will make a video uh, kind of showcasing that. I wanted to just give you a glimpse or a preview of it, though, in this one. So with that, have a great one.